What's up, YouTube? It's Mike. Sticks and Seams, your favorite hand model. This is going to be another national recap. This one's going to focus more on my experience. It was my first national, so I uh, definitely a sensory overload for me. Started the day with Jay, Mr. Fisher Bike, picking me up. We flew in on Thursday. <clears throat> I got to the airport. I had a early flight and then a connecting flight. Eventually, we did end up in Cleveland uh, by way of Dulles, which is not the nicest airport I've ever been to. Uh, but uh, I digress. We get into Cleveland. Scott Reindeer Studios picks us up and brings us to the show. And uh, my first impression was like, whoa, um, a lot of noise. And it was about 2.30ish, I would say, on Thursday when we finally hit the floor. And uh, it was just a lot to take in for me. And I did appreciate the way things were set up. It, it, to me, it was a lot more vintage in the front. And then you had the corporate people in the back. And the second room was, was definitely tighter and warmer. But that's where the breakers were and all the fiascos. So... Um, I, I enjoyed the way the, the card show was laid out. I didn't purchase one thing on the first day. Uh, I was just really trying to take it all in. So about 5 o'clock, Scott picked Mr. Fisherbike up and myself, and we went over to the YouTube get-together, uh, Baseball Collector Mike's uh, YouTube thing at the VFW, where I met so many of you. Uh, that was a great experience. It was... Um, Really cool to actually put a face with a name, per se, and meet you guys uh, in an environment such as the National. So, uh, for everybody I met, it was a pleasure. Uh, we finally made it back to the house that first night, about 11-ish, and uh, in the house was Four Leaf Cards. He was kind of our mother hen. He booked the place, set everything up for us. He was a gracious and fantastic host. Uh, I guess that's why one of the big reasons why I had such a great uh, national experience. <clears throat> but in the house, we had not only Eric, but we had J. Mr. Fisherbike, Lou Rock TV, George Diamond Yard, Sports Cards. Um, we had Rick Vintage Oddball, John Mangini, uh, Picker Jim, Scott Reindeer Studios, we had uh, Dylan, Double D Vintage, and Derek Hardball Crazy, and let me see, Don Field Dream Card, so I think I got everybody. Uh, it was a fantastic group to be at the house, uh, really obviously diverse collecting catalog there, uh, but mainly vintage, so I was definitely, you know, one of the guys that was more modern with my Griffey stuff, but uh, I felt right at home, it was great, <clears throat> so... When we got there, uh, Eric had set a place setting at the table for all of us, and we all got a, a pint glass with our names on the back. You can kind of see that there. And he laser etched the bottom as well, so that was, that was freaking cool. Um, he gave us each a bunch of stuff, and I got something special, so I'll show that off on its own at a, at a later date. But we all had one of these Honus Wagners. And he numbered them. I had five at 12. Uh, we all had the Manama Stamps Murderer's Row. Garrigan and Ruth. Which is pretty darn cool. Everybody got a funny card, I guess, per se. I got Dick Brown, because why not? Got this Dairy Queen set of Griffey. I did not have the whole set, so that was cool. I think I was missing two, and now I'm not. So thank you very much. And because the home was on Mattingly, we all got a Mattingly rookie card with his sticker on the back. So I'll just leave it like that. The house was insane. Uh, log cabin style. Looked small from the outside, but it wasn't anything but inside. Uh, the basement, which we never really even went in, was fully loaded with a poker table, air hockey, foosball, pool table, uh, TV, couch, all that sort of thing. Uh, the main floor had a bedroom off of it and uh, the dining room and the living room. And then upstairs, there was just huge loft with double bunk beds, a big bed, then another bedroom with a bunk bed and a bed, and then a uh, single bedroom. So it was a big space. The outside was what was so impressive. Huge table, like the Last Supper table is gigantic. And um, huge TV, jacuzzi, fire pit in an awesome backyard which we got to play home run derby uh 
Dylan is small but mighty, I will say. But um, we that we spend a lot of time at the house, which is which was great because it was just a freaking cool place to be. And other YouTubers came over as well. So <clears throat> that was kind of my whole experience there. Uh, next day, hit the show floor running on Friday, finally made my first floor purchase, and I'll show those off in another video as well, but uh, kind of got got things moving and rolling and uh, did that whole loop. It wasn't until Saturday when I kind of went about on my own that I really fully experienced everything. Um, I wandered all over the place, ended up in the Breakers Pavilion, saw the autograph stuff. I was everywhere, and it was that was a cool experience just to kind of take it all in at that point. Uh, I was in Heritage Auctions, and they had the ruby slippers and the witch's hat. From the, so just kind of cool stuff to stumble across and uh, kind of take in. And then uh, went back to the house that evening. Just everybody hung out and uh, had a good time then. You know, it's we're flying out on uh, Sunday. Saturday was a good day. We had uh, some kind of local cuisine. It was uh, some kind of sausage with French fries and coleslaw. I forgot what it was called, a po boy, pole boy, or something like that. That was delicious, and um, never would have thought to put all that together. But Eric, the chef, was was whipping those up. And uh, then Mr. Fisherbike and I flew out Sunday and had a hell of a time getting home because of pilots not showing up and delays and missed connections and canceling flights and rebooking. But we made it home in Tampa safe and sound. And I got home about 11 o'clock and I'm still recovering. I'm just just dog tired. But a fantastic overall experience for me at the National. Uh, it was Everybody keeps talking about it, but it's definitely the connections with the people uh, and and just experiencing something that you have in common together and, and seeing the highs and lows of it all where everybody's riding high getting those grail cards. So it, it, for me, a fantastic experience. I would love to be able to go to another one, but uh, we'll have to see. It won't be next year. Um, and that's it. So please stay tuned because I'm going to show off some of the cards I got as gifts and some of the my purchases. So until next time, collect what you love.